All right, Nalana, uh, you know, one more sleep. How are you guys feeling, uh, you know, ahead of the biggest game of the year? Um, yeah, good. We're excited. Um, I think we've, we've had a good preparation so far, so um, just really looking forward to the game. Um, it couldn't come any quicker. Um, what did you learn from Perth the one time you played him in this season? Um, I think obviously there's the ob obvious threats up front. Um, but I think even just watching the game, obviously we played them one, one time, but watching their game on the weekend, um, I think there's a lot of players in, the mid, in their midfield who sort of get um, not enough credit. They're good, good little players. So I think uh, they've got quality all over the pitch. So um, it's going to be a tough game, but I think if, you know, if we're at our best, um, I think we can do the job. Sam Kerr, clearly the international superstar. Um, is there a way that you can try and shut it down? Have you guys spoken about that during the week? Uh, yeah, here and there. Um, it hasn't been our main focus um, throughout our training sessions. We've been focusing on ourselves a lot and, and what we can do on the ball. Um, obviously, we need to know how to, to defend her, but um, we've got a lot of quality def defenders and um, just the team um, as a whole um, has, has done a really good job in shutting things down. So obviously, you want to look to stop her from getting um, a lot of service, but there's going to be times she gets the ball, but um, you know, we'll be able to uh, deal with that. Well, hopefully, you, know, you can't always say you're going to be able to deal with someone like Sam Kerr. Ball signs point to a shootout. Um, you know, how, does kind of, how does that talk kind of make you feel as, as a proud defender? Um, yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting question because you know the last thing we want is for it to go to a shootout. Um, I don't think that's uh, obviously we're prepared for that, but I don't think that's what um, you know we're hoping for. And I think um, yeah, if we do all all things right, then um, all signs for us point to a 90 minute game. So um, yeah, that's the plan. Ante was saying just before about how different it, the feel was to last year, where he said last year he was a bit more nervous with some of the girls, but with, with uh, the experience of that, I um, feel like he was a bit more relaxed this year. Uh, yeah, obviously I was on the, the opposite side of the field last year, so I wasn't a part of that team, but um, uh, I, I know this, this team very well. I played for it. Um, with these girls for a long time, and um, I've been on I've been on the end of um, losing a grand final with this team as well. So, um, yeah, look, I think as the more games you play, the more experience you get, and um, we've got a lot of players who are experienced in finals games. So hopefully that um, uh, more so than Perth, I would say. So hopefully that um, you know is, is a little bit of an advantage for us. And obviously, you know, having lost last year, there's that extra bit of hunger. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the girls are, are really excited to sort of. Uh, what's the word, redeem themselves and, and to get that sort of, um, you know, that title. We haven't had one for, uh, we've played in a lot of um, grand finals at Sydney FC and we have, you know, I think we only have two at the moment. So um, more losses than wins in a grand final. So, um, yeah, it's definitely, we're really um, after that trophy. And ironically, Sam Kerr played for Sydney FC the last time you won a grand final. She did. Um, yeah, she did. And, uh, I, yeah. That was a, an unbelievable goal, unbelievable goal she scored in that final too. I was a part of that team as well and um, actually playing as, as a 10 back then. So, um, yeah, look, I think obviously for Sam, um, she's very hungry for a title as well. So, um, you know, we'll just see, see how it goes.